So can you briefly introduce yourself? My name is Musutu, the surname is Petlane. I'm the chairperson of the Rainwater Board. And what is the reason of your visit to UNESCO IT today? We are here to sign a memorandum of uh, agreement or what they call a memorandum of uh, understanding, mm -hmm. agreeing on a partnership between Rainwater uh, and UNESCO IH in order to train and educate uh, students from uh, South Africa, mainly from Rainwater, in the field of masters and in PhD uh, related to the water and sanitation industry. Yes. So can you explain a little bit more about <coughs> Rainwater and the importance of of training also? Look, Rainwater is one of uh, the 12 uh, utilities in South Africa, who are by far the biggest. Uh, we are big in Africa as well. Uh, we produce about 4,000 megaliters a day, uh, and we supply about 12 million customers uh, all over South Africa. Geographically, we supply to about four provinces in uh, uh, in South Africa, right? And to us, what that means is in order to ensure that uh, we are sustainable, in order to ensure that we supply good quality water, we need to invest in the skills of our people and to remain competitive. And to do that, we have found a good partner uh, in UNESCO and IHE. Um, I think the partnership will be mutual uh, to both, uh, well, will benefit a lot, but there are a few areas where we'll be able uh, to share with our colleagues uh, um, in Delft about uh, what we do in South Africa. Yeah, so uh, the partnership, especially around the area of research, uh, uh -huh. both parties can actually benefit uh, a lot, and I think, yeah, we can uh, approach the whole world telling them that uh, we've got a practical working relationship with our partners in Delphi. So maybe if you could look uh, five years into the future, then what would be the vision for, for Randwater and also the partnership? Yeah, for the partnership one, we intend to increase the number of students uh, that come down to study here. At this stage, uh, from a Randwater point of view, we've got only one. We intend to increase the number to four next year. And then from there, we'll take it up, maybe mm -hmm. 10, 12, and higher. But from a selfish point of view, mm -hmm. we would love to repeat such a program, mm -hmm. especially at master's and PhD level, back at home, right? Uh, seeing with the technology that we have around here, it would be nice that uh, we correspond, you know, we use technology to give even some of the classes, right? So we try and reduce the cost of traveling and accommodation down uh, uh, to the Netherlands. So to us, uh, uh, this is not a partnership that will end in the next five years. Uh, we think it will grow beyond uh, uh, the five years. Yes, indeed, uh, the terms might change in that mm -hmm. we want to actually do more back at home. Remember, back at home, there are other water boards who we have promised that the academy we've got mm -hmm. is not only for rainwater, but it's for the rest of the country. So we we'll want to replicate what we have here, but still exchange uh, knowledge and uh, tutoring with uh, uh, some of the academies that we've got this site. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ma'am.